anthropomorphism. This fun word has three components, each of which provides insight into its full definition. The prefix anthrope means human. The root part of the word morph means shape or form. The suffix ism means state or quality. In other words, anthropomorphism is the act of giving human qualities to something that's non-human. It is important to note such characteristics can be physical or behavioral. Here is the word used in a sentence. Disney is often renowned for their expertly curated anthropomorphisms of dishware, toys, animals, and much more. Speaking of Disney, let's look at specific examples of anthropomorphism in some of their most iconic works. Beauty and the Beast Everyone's favorite teapot, Mrs. Potts, is about as anthropomorphic as it gets. Sweet, loving, and selfless, she perfectly emulates the ideal human mother, caring for her son Chip, who is also stuck in tea dish form in addition to the beautiful Belle as she navigates life within the Beast's castle. Thanks to the magic of Disney, Mrs. Potts feels like she could be her actual mama, making her an excellent example of anthropomorphism. Toy Story The first fully computer animated feature film, Toy Story, is a story about toys, yes, but these aren't your ordinary toys, for they come to life when their beloved Andy is away. Andy's favorite toy, Woody, is the self-appointed leader of the group, even holding meetings, which is a very human behavior, wouldn't you say? Rex, a plastic dinosaur, is timid and gullible. Buzz Lightyear, an astronautical action figure, is charismatic and self-confident to a fault. Of course, there are many more lovable characters in the franchise, but you get the picture. The Lion King it's the circle of life, emphasis on the life, because the animals featured in this classic Disney film are full of it. They speak, sing, and even cry. Who can get through the scene without bawling their eyes out, right? Although they are wild animals living in the beautiful but brutal African pride lands, they exhibit many human-like qualities. Mufasa, for example, is downright regal, full of wisdom and grace. Like any great human leader, the original Lion King has an overwhelmingly strong presence. However, he does have a weakness, which Scar, the villain of this iconic story, eventually exploits for his own benefit. Simba. Mufasa's son and next in line to become king. Simba is your typical mischievous, earnest kid, and as we all know, he just can't wait to be king. Although Simba drives him nuts, Mufasa adores his son and would do anything to protect him. Unfortunately, we see this action when Simba finds himself in the craziest stampede imaginable and Mufasa is forced to fight his way through the madness to rescue his son and future king of the Pride Lands. Although he does save Simba, his brother Scar all but kills him in his pursuit to become king, and when he gives a worried Simba the terrible news, he manipulates him into thinking that Mufasa's death was a direct result of his actions, leaving Simba feeling terribly guilty. As you can see, the Lion King characters just scream anthropomorphism, with one of them even committing the ultimate human crime, murdering one of their own in cold blood because he viewed his victim as nothing more than an obstacle to a greater goal. For a Disney animated musical, there are some seriously dark humanistic themes. To recap, anthropomorphism is a noun defined as the humanization of something non-human, such as an animal, inanimate object, and more. So what's your favorite example of anthropomorphism? Leave your thoughts in the comment section.